The weight loss industry is lying to you. And it's so frustrating because they try to push solutions at everyone that aren't actually solutions. They say, oh here, just focus on HIT to lose weight. Just do strength training. Oh wait, carbs are bad. If you just take away carbs, you'll lose weight. Oh, sugar's bad. Take that away, cut that out, then you're good. Then you'll lose the weight. Then they'll say, oh, but wait, just eat protein, except not that protein, that one's bad. Only the pure grass-fed organic is clean and good for you to lose weight. You can only have that one. And then it leaves people confused, overwhelmed, and scared of everything and having no clue what to do, where to go, or how to lose weight. And the reason why this frustrates me so much is because I struggled with weight my entire life and I spent years trying to lose weight and I listened to the fitness industry and the weight loss industry and I did everything that they said. I cut out carbs, I cut out sugar, I tried only eating clean organic food. I did everything, I followed all the fads, all the trendy diets, everything they said and I kept failing. And all it did was I would try, get a little bit of results, then I would fail, give up, gain weight and then go back into this whole like diet cycle fail until I reached my heaviest weight of 275 pounds. By then, my weight, I was morbidly obese. My weight was causing me serious health problems where my life was at risk every day that I stayed at that weight. I had sleep apnea so bad that I was stopping breathing seven times a night and partially stopping breathing 84 times a night. And I finally had to look and say, wait a minute, the weight loss industry keeps lying. For years, I've been doing what they said and I keep failing. I need to stop listening to an industry that doesn't care about me and just wants me to stay stuck and keep going back to it so that I keep giving them all of my money and I keep trying all the stuff that doesn't work. I need to stop listening to that and start listening to me and my body and what I need to lose weight and what I wanna do and not be scared of food. And so I had to really look and say, okay, I've been labeling foods good and bad. I've been cutting out all these foods that they say are bad, but then all it does is get me to eventually break down and eat more of them. So I started realizing I need to put all the food on the table and stop being scared of eating you know, certain foods and only eating some food and then focusing only on exercise and not what I was eating. And they do say eat in a calorie deficit to lose weight, which I knew I needed to do, but then they tell you to stay away from all the food. So how do you know what to eat to be in the calorie deficit? So I said, what if I start choosing the foods that I like and just working on eating less of them by portioning them out using like the serving sizes on the backs of packages and having portion control to lose the weight. It allowed me to sort of legalize food. And because I did that for myself and I stopped focusing on what the weight loss industry was telling me, I started liking what I was eating. And because I was liking what I was eating, I was able to eat a little bit less because I was allowing myself to eat the foods I liked without feeling guilty. And that really helped me be consistent with what I was doing because I look forward to what I was doing. And then I started learning, hey, if I read labels, look at different brands, I can actually make the most out of my calorie deficit by choosing mostly low calorie, high volume foods, which means I can eat a lot of food, feel like I'm getting a lot of food, feel full and stay in a calorie deficit. And if I choose foods that I love, then everything's tasty and I wake up and I want to do it every day. And that's what they leave out. They tell you to cut out all these foods and everywhere you turn right now, social media, the weight loss industry, everything that you see and hear, stay away from this, don't do this, cut this out. That didn't work for me. And I know I see so many people in the comment section of the channel and they have, they're scared and they don't, they're scared of certain foods and they want to eat the foods they love, but they keep hearing that they're bad. And all that does is it keeps causing them to fail and they're struggling and they don't know what to do. And I wanted to make this video to tell you, I get it. I've been there. It's time that you stop listening to the weight loss industry 
an industry that does not care about you. It wants you to keep coming back to it. Once I started doing this for myself, I was able to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years. And what is happening, what I can see now and what I got caught in and what I'm seeing people get caught in now is the industry tells you, it gives you all these fear foods. And I had a serious struggle with emotional eating as well. And when I went through recovering from that, I learned about, I had to stop like um, having fear foods. I had to allow myself to have all the food without feeling guilt. And that's what I see the weight loss industry doing now. They're instilling this fear of food, um, of all food, so that they've got people going, which is me too. Like, I thought, oh my gosh, if I eat one cookie, I'm going to gain back all the weight that I lost. And they have people going, okay, well, I have to cut out cookies. I have to cut out bread. I have to cut out all the things that ever had sugar. At one point, I was even scared of eating bananas because they have sugar in them. And they don't give you the education that it's calories in, calories out, meaning you can eat what you like. You can have the diet you like. If you don't want to eat carbs, you don't have to. But if you want to, you can. It's about eating in a calorie deficit, meaning you have to eat less. And they leave that part out and just tell you, well, just cut out this food. It's not about that. It's about eating less in general. And so if you're cutting all these things out and you're scared of it all, then anytime you even think about it or go to touch it, you start feeling guilty. And that causes that whole cycle of the restricting, the dieting, and then the all heck breaking loose. And you know, when, once I realized that, I really started to allow myself to have everything on the table. And of course I choose mostly more nutrient dense foods and I really enjoy the low calorie, high volume foods with protein because protein helps you feel fuller longer. And then I allow myself treats here and there. And the, th the thing is, in order to gain just one pound, you have to eat 3,500 calories above your maintenance calories just to gain one pound. So if you want a cookie, if you want to go out for dinner with your family, or you want to have pizza night or movie night, you're not going to gain weight. You can enjoy the things that you love. And this is what I was scared of in the beginning. Well, what if, what if I have to give up my whole life to lose the weight and save my life? Do you know how many bananas or cookies you'd have to eat? to add up to 3,500 calories, that's one pound. Yeah, and you know, like even now, some days like I'll get caught in it and I'll go, oh gosh, we, we decided to have a more relaxed dinner and we had some chicken and some ice cream and stuff and I'll, I'll start thinking, oh my gosh, am I gonna gain all my weight back? And then I have to remember that. Nicole, 3,500 calories above your maintenance is one pound. is one pound. You're not gonna gain weight. You can enjoy your life. Sassy, my husband, camera friend, he has also lost 130 pounds and kept it off for eight years. And we both started our journey together. And when we finally realized that we need to leave all food on the table, we said, okay, what's a non-negotiable? Cutting out treats, because any time that we did, it would backfire and we'd end up gaining back any weight that we did lose and usually giving up and not wanting, trying to lose weight for years and years after that. So we said, well, this time we're leaving cookies in and ice cream. And so every day from the beginning of our journey, we had two low calorie cookies and half a cup of ice cream because that was the serving size on the box that we bought of the ice cream. And to be able to enjoy dessert every day, I can't tell you how, like for the first time ever it clicked, like you don't have to make this a punishment. And that's what listening to the weight loss industry did for me. It made me make weight loss a punishment and Kyle too. And that's why it didn't work for years and years and years. And that's why I try to tell you in every video, weight loss is not a punishment. If you are scared, if you're overwhelmed or, or things feel so complicated and you can't figure it out and you keep trying and failing and giving up and having no idea, like just going, well, what the heck? I'm never going to do this. It's because you're listening to something outside of yourself, something that's lying to you, feeding you crap. Listen to yourself and your body. Stop listening to industries that don't care about you and enjoy your life. You're allowed to eat a cookie.
You're allowed, if you like bread, I hear so many people say to me like, Nicole, I have to lose weight, but I, I love bread, but I need to lose weight, so I gotta cut it out. You don't have to. You can enjoy anything that you want. If you like it, you're more likely to stick to what you're doing. So find um, a meal plan that works for you, that allows you to feel full, choose foods that you enjoy, a balance, and don't worry about any of the crap, the meal timing, the pre-workout, the post-workout, the, um, the carbs, the sugar's bad, don't eat too much of this, only eat this protein. Do what you like and you will find yourself waking up, jumping out of bed going, I can't wait to do this today. I can't wait to eat my food in a calorie deficit and love what I'm doing. And that's why Kyla and I were able to lose the weight and keep it off for so long because we stopped listening to everyone else outside of us and we listened to what we wanted, what we needed and what would work for us. Another big lie of the weight loss industry is the lie of omission. They tell you aspartame is bad, processed foods are bad, sugar's bad, um, sweeteners are bad, artificial sweeteners, but they never tell you that being morbidly obese is unhealthier than having a cookie or a diet pop or an artificial sweetener. They, they never tell you that. And I had to almost, I had to put my life at risk before I realized that. And I said, wait a minute, I have to pick my battles. If diet pop is gonna help me save my life, if having a, some cookies every day and some low calorie ice cream is gonna help me save my life, then that's what I need to do. And, you know, Kyle and I often, will say like, we want you guys to watch us and learn from us and just have fun and you know be entertained by us but also learn stuff, but we don't want you to need us. We want to show you and inspire you to love your journey and not make it a punishment. And we want you to come back for fun, but not to actually need us and keep failing and coming back and going, we're, we're so lost and confused. We want you to we want you to be free to come back and go, hey, I don't need you guys anymore, but I just watch you because I love you. I don't need you because I'm loving my food. I'm not making it my weight loss a punishment anymore. That's what we want you to do. Uh, but what the weight loss industry does, they want you to need them. They want to keep lying to you, to keep pushing all the things that don't matter, solutions that aren't solutions, so that you keep trying them, have hope, but then you can't sustain it, you fail and you go back to them and you keep giving them your money and giving them your attention and you keep staying stuck where you are or getting you know, lower because you keep listening to them. And this isn't mine and Nicole's first rodeo. Like we're older than some people think. Mm -hmm. I'm 42, Nicole's gonna be 40. So we've seen the weight loss industry just keep changing the names of fad diets over and over and over since we were since we can remember since i was nine going on diets the same diets are still here yeah. they're just called something different yep and, the, and you punishing yourself and calling it intermittent fasting is still starving yourself and kyle and i have tried all of it including the newer diets because we wanted to see what they were like and they're all the same they're not sustainable. Anytime that we did something that had too many rules, too many, don't eat this, don't do that. Oh, you have to eat at 7.51 p.m. and 8.51, 8.02. And don't and, eat past 7.51 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Would be the and, next week's message. Yeah, and if you, if you wanna lose five pounds, stand on your head and close your eyes and run around three times with a wet towel. N none of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried that diet yet. That would be next, actually. Don't give them any ideas, actually. Well, I did the trampoline wrapped in tensor band-aids all wet trying to lose inches. And, like, because I thought, honestly, that it would work. I was desperate. I, I was looking for fixes. And to look at the weight loss industry for the fixes, it's just going to keep you going back. They want repeat customers. We want you to keep coming back and seeing, like, all the new recipes that I'm always creating because I love food so much. I'm always looking for, you know, whatever's cool out there. I'm always trying to make cool low calorie versions that I can enjoy and keep meeting my goals. And I'm always changing them. And I want you to come along on the journey. Like if I'm leaning out or building muscle and I want you to see all the new creations and all the ways that you can make 
low-cal, high-volume foods and meal plans and just make weight loss and having like a healthy lifestyle enjoyable. And that's what's on this channel. Loving your food, all foods on the table, constantly coming up with cool new ways to just love your food, love life, love the journey, and not make weight loss a punishment. That's what we're about, and that's what I want you guys to keep coming back and seeing every day. And we don't want you to not know the basics, because the weight loss industry, it doesn't want to tell you the basics, because that would just end it. We want to keep showing you the basics and how to have fun within it, meaning you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. You can enjoy your food, you can eat what you like, but you have to consume less calories than you burn. And that's how it works. And we can show you how to have fun within that one rule of calories in, calories out. You need to be in a calorie deficit, but this is how we do it. We eat pizza. I just made a low calorie charcuterie board in my lunch, three under 300 calorie lunches. I made a ham and Swiss sub. I'm always making fancy great food where you can eat a lot and just love it but stay in a cal deficit to keep being consistent and loving life and food every day and that is the channel and that's what we do here we don't want to give you fear we want to give you hope and like just joy and excitement to get up and do this every day and know that you can do it every day and the friends if you want to know <laughs> B. <laughs> so the friends, if you want to know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, I do have weight loss ebooks and a guilt-free cookbook. The links are down below and code Nicole will save you 10%. I also got HTLT steps. They have the best tasting protein powder ever. My favorite flavor is Luckier Marshmallow Cereal because I love cereal and it helps me get my cereal cravings out. Another thing that they tell you not to ever touch. <laughs> oh, which I pretty much eat every day, cereal, um, with this. <laughs> Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's about loving it. If you're, my saying is, if you're not having fun, you're not getting it done. You gotta love it, and you can every single day. Love it, like it, enjoy it, everything. Don't forget to check out this vid and this vid for more sustainable weight loss tips. Real friends losing weight in the real world for realistic, sustainable weight loss so that you can enjoy life every day and wake up like this. Whew, yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love you. Peace. Catch you in the next vid, sweetheart. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.